Everybody, welcome back. Today's gonna be a little vloggy, I guess. We're gonna go with the old lady, take her first gen RX-7 and the old Amazon for a little bit of a trip today. A friend of ours is coming in town and wants to do some photography. So come along with us. Luckily, this car doesn't take a whole lot of work to look good. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Let's get it on the trailer. As some of you know, I've been on the road for work for quite a while. And uh, a week from today, we have Mountain Meat, which is a Volvo only camping trip, I guess you could say. So, we're gonna have all sorts of Volvos. And, uh, you would think a guy would have, I don't know, the red turbo 245 together to go? Yeah, no. Now I haven't had time to work on it. And every time I come home for the weekend, something comes up. I guess this weekend, instead of getting things done on the Red 245, we're uh, we're gonna go take pictures of our shit boxes. Not the kind you see on OnlyFans, but something completely different. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta stop and smell the roses. Never thought I'd be the kind of person to get glamour shots of my old shit box, but uh, here we are. Looks pretty good out of the garage, though. Trey Coleman, what do you think? I like it, dude. Another old turd, right? <laughs> Another old turd, I like it. It's very uh, photogenic for what it is.
course we brought out the first gen rx7 hmm. how do you feel about your rx7 being out here now i think it's cool different experience with our uh old cars right Hey guys, guess what? I uh, forgot to film an outro. I'm in the middle of editing and uh, I don't have an outro for this video. I just kind of stopped filming and went and got dinner with Trey and Monique and uh, Trey's fiance now. Congrats to Trey. Uh, if you guys like the quality of those photos, um, Trey Coleman photos on Instagram. I really, really like the work he does. Uh, we do pay him to take our pictures. Uh, and I don't think I'd use anybody else just because uh, he's a nice guy. Trey Coleman photos on Instagram. Give him some love. So I mentioned Mountain Meat. Uh, Mountain Meat is the uh, yearly get together that we do with the Turbo Bricks Forum. And a bunch of people pitch in. We rent a lodge in the woods of North Carolina. And it's middle of nowhere. I mean, there's no cell reception. Uh, we just got back yesterday from it. It was a blast. Uh, so keep an eye out for that video. That should be out in the next couple weeks. Uh, I'm still collecting photos and video of it so that, you know, it's a good video, right? Um, I didn't film as much as I wanted to for the next video. Um, but I kind of took the time as a vacation and uh, enjoyed, uh, you know, just spending time with old friends. Uh, I've been a part of the Turbo Bricks community for... 15 years now since 2007 I think 2006 2007 so it's been a long time the majority of my subscribers are Volvo fans so that should uh it should go over well unfortunately we don't take the red 245 uh, we actually don't take any of the Volvos um as of right now little status update uh red 245 needs somebody to look at the tune um uh, it runs it drives it just it doesn't like boost so whenever uh you get into the throttle starts making boost it cuts like it's got fuel cut or maybe the the map isn't reading right i'm not i don't know again I, i'm not familiar enough with micro squirt or mega squirt or any of the squirts except for you know what never mind we didn't take the black wagon because the war wagon yes the war wagon uh, we didn't take the war wagon because it's leaking coolant from the head gasket we'll have to look in the, into that at some point the silver wagon uh, we decided not to take that just because it's slow and it's boring. We were going to be in the mountains. So we opted to take both RX-7s to the <laughs> Turbo Bricks meet. This year, it seemed like everybody had their own their own projects there. So there was a lot of different uh, swapped vehicles. Uh-oh. 
Hello. Hi. How are we doing? Come here. Hi, Luke. Come on. Come here. Come up. Come up. Come on. Come here. No, I'm not busy. Yes, I can stop to pet you. Yes, I know. It's hard to film around here. Okay, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Took both RX-7s and I absolutely flogged the crap out of the red RX-7 and it was a blast. It's a great, great, very much needed vacation. As some of you know, the septic system at my house has uh, gone terminal. Uh, unfortunately, I am going to have some to sell some projects. Um, I don't have the money just laying there to spend several thousand dollars on septic work on the house. So first one up is the red 245. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much I want for it yet. Probably somewhere in the $4,000 range without the wheels. Uh, I don't know if I can get the money out of the wheels because it's a brand new set of wheels with brand new tires on it. It's a manual 245 turbo wagon that runs. It'll run, drive onto a trailer. So anyway, uh, right, as of right now, I don't want to sell the Amazon, but it may come down to it. Uh, I can't sell the FD. I cannot sell the Commando. I don't, I don't think the Commando's worth anything. Um, I do have a 62 Mercedes-Benz that is in storage that I might sell, but it's sitting on an S10 frame. Not a four-wheel drive frame, but it's a two-wheel drive frame that's set up for a small block Chevy. So... If anybody's interested in those, uh, leave a comment and send me an email at dinamachines2021 at gmail.com. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I really appreciate those of you that watch uh, continuously. Um, it, it means a lot to me, and I know that uh, I'm new at this, and my content may not be... You know, I'm no Cletus McFarland, okay? Let's let's face it. So thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for giving it a like. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. Um, consider becoming a patron. I could really use uh, patrons right now. <laughs> uh, how about you go out in your garage and you fix something, huh? Have a good night.